Hey everybody, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're taking a quick look at the GSI Glacier Tea Kettle. This is going to be a very nice compact stainless steel kettle to bring with you on any kind of trip. Makes a really good item for a solo trip if you're especially going to have any kind of dehydrated meals or you just want some coffee or tea and it makes a really good addition to any kind of field kit. It's um, Since it is stainless steel, you can put this straight on coals or a fire, put it over a fire, put it on a stove really durable for long years of use. And then once it's finally given out, you can always recycle it. So it's gonna be environmentally friendly in that respect. It's gonna be a completely metal design. There's no BPA to worry about with this. And it really can um, also pack a lot of stuff inside whenever you're preparing your kit. So let's take a closer look and talk a little bit more about what kind of um, specs you can expect with this guy. So the handle is going to stay upright uh, it kind of has a little notch that that latches into so if you want to hang this above your fire You can do that or just leave it upright to make it a little bit easier to grab that without singeing your fingers Of course, it's a good idea to have something like a handkerchief or um, a glove or something whenever you grab this straight from the fire It's probably gonna be hot especially this little lid if you want to uh, peek in there and see if your water is boiling this also will stay upright and I would suggest before you put it on your your heat source, if you're gonna be lifting up that lid, it can be kind of hard to lift it up, um, especially once it's hot, you know, this lid will get hot. So I would actually put this up right before you put it on the heat source just to make sure that you don't have any difficulty with that. It fits pretty tightly, so it will stay pretty much in any position that you put it in. If we look on the inside, you can see that it's a complete seamless design. So no worries about any cracks or um, splits that might happen with this. It should really be durable for just about any kind of situation that you might put it through. Again, you can put this directly on coals or flame, so very durable in that respect. The handle can also be removed, and you can actually pack this inside, so if you're really maximizing your space, you can put it in there and kind of get it out of the way so you don't have that um, obstructing anything. And this will fit um, a 110, fuel canister inside here. You can also pack in your mess kit, all kinds of stuff. I'll give you some measurements for reference. So the opening is about, I'm going to say about four and five eighths of an inch across. And it's right about two, and again, two and five eighths of an inch deep. Of course, it does expand out, so the bottom of the kettle is about six inches in diameter. But just kind of want to give you some measurements so you can plan accordingly, you know, make the most of your space so you can pack anything in there that you can fit. I'm going to take this handle out there. It's probably going to make a ter really terrible sound when I do. Eh, not too bad. Getting that bat back in place. It's pretty simple, just fits right in, the, in there. The spout makes it easy to pour anything into a smaller area. Although whenever you're getting the last drop, you'll want to hold on to that lid because it will come off. It doesn't really fit super tight. Um, so if you're really pouring that last drop of water out there, you'll want to hold on to it. Now this holds about uh, a, a liter of water or one quart. And there's about four cups to a quart. So um, just giving you some estimates on how much you can use. So you can you know, make yourself a cup or two of coffee or tea and then still have enough for a meal to, again, rehydrate something or use it uh, for just whatever you might need while you're out in the wilderness. As far as the other measurements, again, about six inches in diameter. With our handle going up, it's about, I'd say about seven and a half inches tall with the handles down. It's about four inches tall. And then with the spout, about six and a half inches wide. 
that's pretty much all there is to it for our quick look at the GSI Outdoors Glacier Tea Kettle. I hope this has been helpful in deciding if this is the right piece for you. We do have a lot of other GSI gear here at eTrailer.com and all kinds of stuff for any kind of overlanding or RV adventure that you might have. So definitely check it out and thanks for watching.